One way to stay young is from the inside out, because what goes on on the inside is often reflected on the outside. And I'm going to talk about that in this video. And a balanced diet can help you to defy the signs of aging. Because if your body doesn't get the vitamins and minerals that it needs, not only is it not going to be able to provide the fuel to live your daily life to its full potential, but your cells are not going to renew properly, making you look old. So if you eat a lot of junk food, you know, stuff that's high in saturated fats, in sugar and simple carbs, then not only will you be obese, but your heart is going to have to work harder and your arteries are going to clog up with cholesterol, making it harder for nutrients to circulate. And when this happens, your body concentrates all of its efforts into keeping you alive. After all, that's its most important function. And maintenance gets pushed into second place. And your health deteriorates as a result making you look older than you really are. And the converse is also true. You know, if you're getting the right amount of nutrition, then you'll have a healthy glow, making you look younger. And you'll also have more energy than your peers, again, making you look younger. So you know, you're going to actually act younger because you're going to have more energy than other people who are your age. Now, one thing that you should do to ensure that this happens is to always eat breakfast. That's actually very important. In fact, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But for so many people, this consists of either a cup of coffee on the go or a so-called breakfast bar that's laden with unhealthy fats and sugars. And so you're getting all the wrong sort of nutrition at the time when you really need the right nutrition the most. So a breakfast consisting of foods that are high in vitamins, proteins and slow release carbohydrates can keep your energy levels up till lunchtime. And you should sit down to eat it as well. You know, treat it like a proper meal. Don't eat it on the go. Don't eat it on your commute. Uh, sit down, have a proper meal. You don't actually have to sit down at the table to eat it. You can eat it on your lap on the sofa watching breakfast TV if you want, if that's you know what makes it easier for you. But you should treat it like a proper meal and set aside a proper amount of time to eat it and digest it. And if necessary, get up earlier so that you have time to do this. You know, it's very important. And you should also snack healthily. There's nothing wrong with snacking, but you should choose something that's healthy. So, for example, choose fruit instead of candy or chips. Now, fruit has got plenty of vitamins and it's got nothing artificial, especially if you buy fresh fruit you know, from uh, your local greengrocer or from your supermarket and so on. And fruit that's in season is going to have all the nutrients that your body needs for the particular time of year. So you're going to have slow release sugars during the winter time. You're going to have fast release sugars during the spring and summer. And if you can get something that's organically grown, then that's even better because you're not going to be taking in things like pesticides and artificial fertilizer residue and that sort of thing. So again, it's healthier and it's going to be better for you and that's going to reflect in your appearance. Something else that you should do is to drink water instead of soft drinks. Now, Soft drinks are full of corn syrup, they're full of processed sugars, and they've got lots of artificial colorings and flavorings, none of which do you any good. And carbonated spring water with a slice of lemon or a splash of fruit juice can be just as refreshing as a soft drink. And of course, spring water or bottled water is better for you than tap water, 
because it's less likely to contain things like fluoride or chlorine and other additives. And of course, tea and coffee are fine too, and they contain things like antioxidants that can be beneficial, especially tea. But of course, some people need the extra jolt of caffeine that you get from a nice cup of coffee. If you do that, then try if possible, to get real coffee you know, that's freshly ground and percolated or um, filter made, rather than using instant coffee, which can often have lots of artificial stuff in it. And it's best to get your vitamins and minerals from food, and eating as healthily as possible is always the best policy. You know, get fresh food, get it organically grown if possible, eat what's in season because that's what your body needs and as I was saying you know what goes on, on the inside is reflected on the outside but that said the way your body absorbs vitamins and minerals changes as you get older and in some cases your body doesn't absorb all the nutrients from your food in the time that it takes it to get through your digestive tract. So you're not actually getting as many minerals and vitamins into your body, into your bloodstream, as you would do when you were younger, even though you're eating a highly nutritious diet. So in that case, it's perfectly okay to top up your intake of nutrients with supplements. Now, of course, you should always check with your doctor or other health advisor first just to make sure that you're not suffering from any intolerances, and that's very important. And a good multivitamin and multimineral tablet taken once a day is enough for most people, and uh, they are quite reasonably priced. But you might need to top this up with additional supplements if necessary, if you find that you are suffering from some sort of a deficiency. Now, good ones to consider are vitamin C for keeping viruses at bay. In fact, um, I read an article once that said that no virus known to man is able to survive large amounts of vitamin C under laboratory conditions, although there is, of course, a limit to the amount of vitamin C that your body can absorb. But vitamin C is very good for keeping viruses at bay, keeping coughs and colds at bay, etc. Vitamin D for your bones, it's just as good for you in adulthood as it is when you're a growing child. Potassium for blood pressure, Citicoline for memory, zinc for appetite, and we could also add um, vitamin E for your eyesight, and there are a whole lot of others too. And if you do find that you're suffering from some sort of a deficiency, then of course talking to your doctor should be the first port of call. But also you can look things up on the internet to uh, give you some idea as to the sort of thing that you might need. Now, when you do decide to go for supplements, it's best to buy them from a specialist retailer instead of from a drugstore or a supermarket. And that's because the sort of things that you buy from the supermarket or from the drugstore tend to be much lower dosage than the ones that you can buy from a specialist retailer or a health food store or that sort of thing. So you can make sure that you're getting the maximum amount of um, vitamins or minerals by talking to a specialist retailer. And a specialist retailer will have people on hand who understand how all these things work and can give you some good advice. So there you go. Looking good on the inside is reflected when you look good on the outside. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.